Welcome everyone here to ABC Action News at 4. I'm Paula Grom. It's a complicated case that started years ago, now finally in front of a judge in Sarasota County for opening arguments. And it's one that you may have heard about thanks to a new Netflix documentary called Take Care of Maya, involving accusations against Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. At ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell joining us right now following this case. She joins us live in the studio. And Mary, we're learning a lot more about this case and this time the details are coming to light in open court. That's right, and it really all got underway today. The jury dismissed this afternoon until tomorrow, and it comes after opening arguments finished up earlier this afternoon from both attorneys for the Kowalski family and All Children's Hospital. So here's how we got here. Jack Kowalski and on behalf of his children, including Maya and his late wife, Beata, is suing Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. According to court documents in 2015, a doctor diagnosed Maya with common complex regional pain syndrome and gave Maya ketamine infusion treatments. The documents say in 2016, Maya was taken to All Children's, where it says Beata explained Maya's condition and relayed what the family said were, quote, appropriate dosages of pain medication. In court today, the hospital's attorney stated this was a big dose and levels staff had never heard of before. Documents go on to say the defendants reported Beata to DCF child abuse hotline and later says that the hospital notified the family they would not be allowed to leave with Maya. The nearly 100 page document goes on to state that Beata suffered multiple physical injuries up to and including her suicide, saying that each was caused by the psychological trauma inflicted by the defendant's actions. Today in court, both sides laid out their case. We had no reason to wish this family harm and we still don't. Indeed, there's a tragic outcome in this case in terms of Mrs. Kowalski's suicide, and we regret very much that that happened. The issue here, however, is who's responsible for it. And we're going to go over the facts of that and what the facts don't show in terms of any connection between what was done by all children and that tragic result. There is no evidence anywhere that Maya Kowalski was ever in any danger Maya Kowalski ever suffered any negative effect whatsoever. Now, Johns Hopkins All Children said in a statement they're vigorously defending against the false allegations in the lawsuit, going on to say, quote, our staff are required by law to notify Florida's Department of Children and Families, DCF, if they suspect abuse or neglect. It is DCF and a judge, not Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, that investigates the situation and makes the ultimate decision about what course of action is in the best interest of the child. Now, the judge said tomorrow they're going to start evidence presentations, of course, we'll stay on top of what comes out of this case. Yeah. Paul.